Hey everybody, it's me, the library lady, with you today on What's the Story, bringing you another great kids' books today. Um, I started this channel back when COVID kicked off as a former classroom teacher and elementary school librarian. I really wanted to find a way to share my passion with kids' books and bring them to you in your home so you could use them for at-home learning or um, for just enjoyment. So hopefully this is a great way for you to be exposed to some new titles um, and hear some great ideas on how you can stay connected to the books. So make sure you stay tuned after the preview to get some ideas on crafts, um, activities, different types of things you can do to engage your reader or your learner. Um, make sure you click subscribe. So thanks so much for watching. Um, share with family and friends. It's a great way to share the joy of reading with others. So with no further ado, let's get started. I actually have two, Arnie the Donut. And Arnie the Donut is a great kids book. I'm gonna read, today's like a special bonus, a little bit from each one. Um, in 2003, Henry Holt published Arnie the Donut and it was written by Lori Keller. A uh, huge hit, uh, lots of fun, kids loved it. And she took on that and kind of ran with the story and continued that into some chapter books. So this is the first one in the series called Bowling Bandit. And it came out in 2013 um, by Henry Holt. Um, publishing company. So definitely a great story of fun donuts. You can see I've got my donut shirt on here. It says Sprinkle Kindness. Um, and it's a fun adventure type book with the donut named Arnie. So uh, let's take a little book look. We'll start with a picture book. They kind of kicked it off. Um, you may know Lori Keller from The Scrambled States of, um, of America, which is a great book. If you don't know that one, I highly recommend checking that one out as well. So the premise is that Arnie is a donut. He is excited to be in the bakery shop. He sees all of his other friends leaving the bakery and kind of wants to participate in that same excitement of leaving the bakery shop. Except when he does leave, he puts two and two together suddenly and it's not quite what it seemed. So let's take a look here. It says, Arnie turned out to be just the kind of donut he had hoped for. He hoped he'd be. Chocolate covered with bright colored candy sprinkles. Look at all my sprinkles. There must be a million of them. Actually, there are only 135, but I'm not going to spoil that for him. He was made very early in the morning at Downtown Bakery, home of the best donuts around. Arnie was proud to be the, one of the best. He knew that people all over town made special trips to his bakery to buy donuts of their very own. Get it around or around? Give me a minute, I'm good at these. As Arnie sat on the tray, which had just been placed in the donut case, he took a moment to reflect on the amazing things that he had happened to him that morning. Number one, cut into a ring, Wee. Number two, deep fried, ouch, quit it. I'm soaking in boiling grease, but I love it. Three, cooled, oh, I remember that drink, sir. Iced, who's that handsome donut? Hold still. Five, sprinkled, caution, sprinkle area, must wear safety goggles, ha <laughs> that tickles. And number six, named. Whenever I'm named, I'm going to be cool, iced, D. I I like it, Arnie. Arlene and you can see there's a lot of little pictures and comments along the story and so it goes through some of the different donuts and the friends that he has and all as well as he is there until he goes home and somebody comes to bring him home um, and so we'll find out what happens when he goes home um, because he realizes maybe it's not all that it's cracked up to be so um, that's a fun one as you can see though I will tell you a spoiler alert he does survive because that's how we know there is a chapter book and he accompanies his owner Mr. Bing uh, to the bowling alley and Mr. Bing is part of a bowling championship and does not seem to be going well so he is in charge of figuring out what's happening in this adventure. It's a great chapter book. It's still um, very um, easy kind of layout and um, visual um, with lots of pictures and uh, we'll take a look at a couple pages of that. Hey Mr. Bing, do you remember the time when you tried to eat me? I sure do Arnie. I mean, you really tried to eat me. I know. And you were all like, what are you doing? It seems like yesterday that Mr. Bing brought me home from the downtown bakery and tried to eat me. Time sure flies. And look at this now, Mr. Bing and his trusty donut dog. That's me. So he's a donut and a dog. Yep, Mr. Bing decided not to make me his breakfast. Phew, he decided we should think of something else he could make make of me. Coming up with ideas is easy, but agreeing on one was another story. I mean, would you want to be an air freshener for someone else's car or a picture frame? And who in their right mind would, would be a pin cushion? 
I guess I was hoping for something a little more glamorous, like being his ballroom dance partner, or his chauffeur, or an entertainer at his parties. There's no business like no business. Turns out he didn't like my ideas any better than he liked his. We had given up trying, and I was on my way out of town when Mr. Bing ran up to me with a dog, donut dog idea, and I loved it. And so it goes through and he is like his little dog, his little pet. And so they're on this adventure, but again, lots of illustrations, lots of fun little side notes and things, even changes in fonts and stuff. So a fun read for kids. And this is book one in the series. They've come out with a couple others as well. So um, if you're feeling a donut theme, um, that's a great way to plug into donuts. So um, fun way to do that too is um, learning resources uh, makes um, a little donut pointer. Um, and those can be always fun if you're using it with younger kids to find different words, you know, a word that starts with a B, a word that starts with a C, um, and let them find that. Um, so you can have a lot of fun with pointers. Uh, you can always make some donuts, look up some donut recipes, do a little cooking together, incorporate some math in there as well, or take a trip to go pick up some donuts at your local bakery. Um, remember to support those local businesses that are really um, trying so hard um, during COVID to stay afloat. So a great way to support them. Um, even making paper donuts. Um, you can use a paper plate, cut out the middle and then add some sprinkles and decorations and if you want to incorporate some writing have your child write about their favorite part or uh, an alternate ending or uh, maybe sequence the story lots of ways to connect writing and then have it with a craft um, as summer is winding down here in august um, you can even use a pool noodle float it's a perfect size for making a donut you dip that into some paint um, and then stamp that down on some paper and you have a perfect round donut so a um, fun way to uh, recycle and reuse your pool noodle if you have one of those lying around. Um, so lots of ways to just have fun with donuts, enjoy making donuts, craft donuts, exploring donuts, and I guess after all, eating donuts too. Happy reading!